All right, guys, happy Saturday. Excited to dive into more fantasy football content here for you. Doing the mini mic today, out here on the fly, chilling out. It's Saturday. Hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. I know I am, and fantasy football is back. I know it's March, but understand, guys, the combine is going right now. We got the NFL draft just around the corner. Super pumped about this season. Now, I'm going to get into this, guys. Three wide receivers that I absolutely love this season. And a big thing with wide receivers is value. That's a big, crucial focal point where I'm drafting any wide receiver. I don't want to pay too high for a guy that's going to bust. We saw it last year. We saw it with Cooper Cup. We saw it with Devontae Adams and T. Higgins round two and on and on and on and on. You want to get the value at wide receiver, okay? So in this video, I've got three Wide receivers I love, and these guys are decent value. One of them, you know, he's a he's a pretty big name, but I love the upside this year. So I look at upside, I look at value, I look at all these parameters when I look at a wide receiver. And I got three that I absolutely love. Now there's more that I love. There's gonna be more value. If you want all the answers though, get the 16 round drafts, which I've linked it below. You could pre-order right now. The first version of it is coming out in May, but you could pre-order get in for the lowest price this season. Use code SMASH to save. I've linked it below. 16 round draft solution is the game changer, guys. No more outdated consensus rankings, magazines, all that BS. It's not gonna help you guys win your leagues. These are the guys that remember I used it as one example. They slept on Sam Laporta last year, had him ranked 21st amongst tight ends. This guy is a top tight end now because they didn't see what I saw. What I saw, I laid it all out for you. And when you guys are getting the 16 rounds, the ultimate experience is if you guys add this Fantasy Sports Summit, I'm going to have actual NFL athletes at a summit during a virtual live stream, PS5 giveaway, mock draft, fantasy analysis, all at the Fantasy Sports Summit in August, all virtually done. You can add that to the order after you get 16 rounds, I've linked it below, guys. Amazing, amazing stuff. All right, guys, lion mentality, smash thumbs up. Let's go through these three wide receivers. Smash thumbs up, guys. It's very helpful. If you hit the thumbs up and comment below. Who is a wide receiver you love this year Is it that's dear to your heart? Is it Puka Nakua? Are you excited about him? Do you like Tyreek Hill again this year? Are you sold on a Jefferson bounce back, right? He wants to get paid a lot this year, Jefferson. He wants this, like he wants to reset the market and have like a mega contract. Is he worth it? Do you love him? Are you going to pay you know a top five pick for him? What happened to Cooper Cup? Do you love him still? A lot of the kids just love that guy. I told you to avoid him for the past couple years. Told you Super Bowl hangover was happening and he busted after that. Who do you love? Drop it in the comments below and smash that thumbs up. Smash it. Big one, guys. Line mentality. All right. First wide receiver I love, and it's an obvious name here, is Garrett Wilson. Joe, that's so obvious. He's number seven on the Kinshipsis rankings. Well, let me tell you something. I love the upside this year. Now, if I am going a wide receiver round one, a healthy Aaron Rodgers is really going to draw me to bring in Garrett Wilson. Understand, guys, this guy was a first-round pick. First round pick in 2022 has not even scratched the surface on what he could do because he had bad quarterback play last year. Okay, had still had 168 targets, 95 receptions, a thousand yards. Okay, this is with bad, this is with Zach Wilson throwing the ball and a bunch of bottom feeders. Where he lacked was the touchdowns. Just didn't get the touchdowns that he deserves and and needs. And he's going to get that with good quarterback play. That it's not a question about talent with Garrett Wilson. It is a question about quarterback play, and he's going to get that solved hopefully this year. I'm Listen, I'm excited about Garrett Wilson, and again, the, you know who I, I'm liking, guys. I'm, I like Brees Hall round one, other guys. I'm going to be aiming to go running back, aside from Christian McCaffrey, who I said is going to decline, okay? But Garrett Wilson, if I'm looking at a guy at the end of round one, I want to stack him with the potential running back that I decide to add. Garrett Wilson, I mean, it's a no-brainer if Aaron Rodgers is there. Tons of ceiling, tons of upside, love the talent. And I think he's trending upwards. You got to look for flow, guys. If somebody's trending, it's kind of a down year, he's going to trend upwards. A guy like CeeDee Lamb coming off this pinnacle year, boom, he's kind of hit the ceiling. I'm using the screen here as an example. Boom, he's going to bounce off and come down. I don't see, I think CeeDee Lamb, that's it, right? So I'm gonna avo- I like the upside more of a Garrett Wilson than I do of a CeeDee Lamb. Does that make sense? And I wouldn't be surprised if... And the Cowboys end up drafting a top wide receiver this year because other guys over the years have not got it done as a wide receiver to Gallup. All these other guys has never got it done. Okay, so Garrett Wilson, absolutely love him. Love the upside, love the talent. Hasn't scratched the ceiling. This is the year. It's a breakout year for Garrett Wilson. You're going to have to pay, right? Second guy here, a bit of a sleeper, but love him. 
and I'm going to give you guys a lot of insight on this, is Jaden Reed. Listen, the talent is there. They invested a second-round pick on him. Now you're saying, well, they invested a second-round pick on Christian Watson. Listen, the guy has not been able to stay healthy. Not, not to mention, you got the young Jordan Love now who's built that rapport with all these guys, and it seemed like he was gravitating towards Jaden Reed last year. 94 targets, 64 receptions, 743 yards, and 8 touchdowns. Yardage is going to go up. Again, a second-round pick, high draft capital. And I love the way Dobbs look. Listen, I think it's going to coin toss between Dobbs and Jaden Reed. And Dobbs looked great in those playoff games. And I, I, I'm still leaning that way a little bit. But Jaden Reed seems like that young, dynamic guy that's going to grow with Jordan Love. I mean, they're all young, right? But something about Jaden Reed, I think he's got that it factor, that it, uh, you know? Um Again, we don't know, but here's the thing, right? You're going to get him for massive value. The guy is sitting 36th on the Kashyyyk's rankings amongst wide receiver. Again, if you look at last year, Tank Dell was ranked 100th, whatever. Nico Collins was ranked like 60, whatever, amongst the rankings, okay, amongst wide receivers, right? Nico Collins. And those guys are now up there in the rankings. They're top, both top 25 picks this year because there was some uncertainty as to who the wide receiver one's going to be. We're getting that same type of vibe from the Packers. We don't know who the, the one's going to be, but in theory, it could be Jaden Reed. It really, really could. But again, based on the playoff games, you know, the playoff game, it looked like in the postseason, it looked like Dobbs was the guy. So I think it might be Reed, could be Dobbs, but I love Jaden Reed for the value. You know, you could probably stack a Dobbs and a Reed and get them both late, and then you're eventually going to get the one. Now, the only concern then is that maybe Watson gets reemerges, or there's just a total three-headed monster at wide receiver and it's total target distribution all the way around. Now you lose, now you're getting a solid flex play in Jane Reed. But there's also a chance that you get this guy for immense value, you get him for pretty much a bargain after round seven, six, seven, whatever the, the ADP is going to fall, eight, nine, you get him for value, and he becomes a wide receiver one, you got yourself a league winner, right? So listen, high draft capital by the Packers, second round, talent, Awesome. Eight touchdowns last year. Great. Pure heart, right? So just under a thousand yards. Jaden Reed is in a position to really thrive and I love him. Okay. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Does this make sense to you? I'm looking for the value. Now I could take a look at some of the top guys, you know, your Tyreek Hills, your Justin Jefferson, you know, your, your CD lambs of the world, right? I could take a look at those guys, but Again, I'm getting the value here while I'm loading up on the most scarce position, which is running back in the first early couple rounds, okay? We're going to have to see how all the ADPs fizzle out, but this is how it's looking right now. Now, the third guy I love, you guys know what I've talked about. I was the only one talking about him last year, is Tank Dell. Tank Dell's in 25th amongst wide receivers in the rankings. This is a guy that was ranked over 100th last year amongst wide receivers. I told you to stash him in all your leagues. Was doing great. Now, here's an interesting stat here for you guys. Week 9 through 11, the guy had a combined 35 targets. That's phenomenal. Phenomenal. 35 targets over three games. And in those games, he had four touchdowns. Prior to going down with an injury, it was a leg injury, the fibula broken. He's back. He should be good to go. Young, dynamic, upside. He's got that rapport with Stroud. Now, listen, I think Nico Collins is a good player. I think he's really, really good. But I think Tank Dell comes back and solidifies that wide receiver one role. Now, Nico Collins is ranked ahead of Tank Dell on the rankings because he finished with more fantasy points last year. He just He finished the season, so he's ranked higher. Now, there is a chance that you get Dell and get the wide receiver one for better value. That's what I'm saying. Or you could do the stack again, Nico and Dell, and have the one. Or again, you get target distribution. But either way, here's the deal. I love Tank Dell talent. I love the upside. I love the youth. I love everything about the situation. I love CJ Strout. I mean, why wouldn't you want the potential wide receiver one for great value? Again, sitting 25th amongst wide receivers. I get this guy for immense value, okay? And that's what it's all about. It's about getting tons of wide receivers for value that could be the one on their team and then just plugging and playing the guy that actually takes off. Instead of getting a guy in round one, right? Like last year, Cooper Cup, I told you he's going to decline. Busted. Devontae Adams, busted, right? T, uh, T. Higgins, round two. Jalen Waddle was like a round two, three guy, right? You're still, people are still going for those wide receiver twos. They did it last year. The Kinsheeps, as I warned you, they were doing this. T. Higgins, round two. And I can, you know, now you're getting the, now they were better value last year, but I'm still going to get the potential wide receiver two, but, but I'm not spending a second round pick on a Tank Dell or Jaden Reed. Does that make sense? 
you're getting these guys young, talented, better than Higgins, right? Better opportunities potentially. And you don't have to spend the second round pick. It's a steal, man. It's exactly what happened last year, but you're getting these guys for a steal. And they could be the one. That's the thing. There was no chance that Higgins was going to be the one. Does that make sense, guys? Guys, I think logically when it comes to fantasy football, I don't copy and paste. I don't just play it safe and say, hey, they finished on top last year. Let's draft them again in that order. That doesn't make any sense to me. There's no logic behind that. It's just like, okay, what goes up must come down is what I think from a logical perspective when I'm looking at these players. So, Again, guys, start using some common sense, logic, lying mentality, think outside the box. When people zig, you zag. Very simple, guys. Zigzag. Very simple. All right, if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Grab 60 rounds of LinkedIn below. Use code SMASH to save. And when you are checking out, make sure you guys add a ticket to the Sports Summit. It's going to be amazing. Tajay Spears already booked, hence why I'm wearing the Titans hat here. I actually had this hat before. Uh, but love, love Tajay Spears. Going to look to lock up a, a rookie soon. I'm going to be making that announcement soon for the Summit and more players. All right, guys, subscribe, thumbs up. Those are three fantasy football wide receivers, some early wide receiver rankings, I would say, or discussion or sleeper talk. And uh, right there for you. Fantasy does not end here with the number one fantasy football podcast. Subscribe, thumbs up, and drop a wide receiver you love below. Lots of homework for you. I'm out.